who is a White House and Washington reporter for Politico. Thank you very much, Daniel, for joining us here on TRT World. Uh, now, the first thing that I can think of uh, right now is uh, how do you think the American public is receiving uh, this news? Does it take it? Uh, does it take them by surprise or not? Well, it's not a huge shock since there isn't a huge Democratic field uh, of other potential candidates. Uh, and so I think Biden feels like he is the best Democrat to defeat someone like Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis. He's already proved that he can uh, defeat Trump in 2020, uh, and he did so by a large margin. Uh, but if you look at the polls, a majority of Democrats don't even want him to run, but they would still support him. Uh, and I think there is a feeling that uh, Biden has accomplished a lot. He has done the you know, climate change funding, you know, hundreds of billions of dollars of that, the infrastructure bill, the, uh, lots of money on semiconductor chip uh, factories. Uh, and they feel like uh, he is well equipped for the second term, although we just don't know what the agenda would look like besides defeating Donald Trump. His uh, health and age remains a big concern. You and I, we are not doctors. So it's not okay for us to comment on his health. But certainly, uh, it's not. Uh, we don't really hear anyone who's like 85 or 86 year old and is still lead a country, do we? Because if Biden comes uh, into power again and secures a second term, he will be 86 years old. Yeah, he would be at the end of the term. And so who knows if he would actually serve that full second term. Uh, I think Harris would be well equipped to take uh, older I and mean, over. But this is someone who has gotten cleans of, clean bills of health from their doctors. Uh, he is still vigorous. He exercises. Uh, he doesn't have any major medical conditions. And so as long as he's able to uh, continue to be healthy, then he can do the job. Although I think a lot of the day-to-day -day running of the government is uh, done by his chief of staff, Jeff Designs. Before that, it was Ron Klain the cabinet members, uh, and he doesn't travel as much as previous presidents sometimes. And he doesn't do press conferences where you have to be alive on your feet answering lots of questions. And so he is kept a little bit cocooned, but still uh, shows his face in public every day. But Daniel, like I said, uh, his age remains a big concern, uh, even though uh, the American public uh, is not taken by surprise, as many would say at this point, because Biden had already suggested when he was running for the first time uh, that he would seek a second term. But what strategies or messaging might the Biden campaign employ to address concerns about his age and appeal to younger, more diverse voters who may be looking for a fresh, uh, fresh face? Yeah, they can only do so much to address that. I think they're going to talk about what he's accomplished in office in terms of policy. They're not going, they don't want to get sucked into an age debate. Um, and it looks like they're going to get their wish a little bit in terms of probably running against Donald Trump, who is only a few years younger. And so it's going to be very hard for Trump to make the argument, hey, Joe Biden is very old when he, in fact, is pretty much the same age, just a few years younger. Uh, but probably in less good shape than Joe Biden. Uh, and so I think they are uh, going to show lots of videos in the campaign announcement video. He was running sometime, you know, he was, uh, you know, very vigorous uh, and very alive. Um, but he definitely, if you're watching that, you could tell that he was older uh, than when he was running with Barack Obama. And he has changed a little bit, uh, but he still is with it mentally. Uh, and uh, he is not, doesn't have any major illnesses, so that's good news, knock on wood. All right, uh, Danny Lipman, thank you very much for talking to us here on TRT World. Really appreciate your taking out the time.